Um, if by read you mean imagine the naked lady, then yes. Huh? Oh, sh**. In a hat. Sorry, everybody, but let's go. Well, that was really inappropriate, wasn't... wasn't it. And sorry I can't share that with you, even though I know most of you could handle it. Uh, you don't get to see T-Rex this time. They don't... If they don't start with him, then forget it. So welcome, this is the third swamp level, Schmo versus the Volcano. Get it? Another spoof of a... movie? I... <laughs> wow. I, I froze Fleming, and then he went into the lava. Now shouldn't that just... No, yeah, that's right. He'd thaw him out and kill him. And thought for a second they would just cancel each other out, but... No, then the lava would melt him. Because he didn't... Hey, if you, you guys haven't seen that weapon yet. T-Rex's special weapon is a shrink ray. So, therefore, he, he just shrinks you down, and then he or anybody else could stomp on you. And I'm not sure if... I guess whoever stomps on you also gets smack points. And he gets smack points for shrieking you. But anybody could stomp on you. Damn, so close. If you know, if you get if you get lit on fire, you might as well just jump into the lava so nobody else kills you and get smack points. That's what I do. Or catch on fire. So you can catch on fire down at the end by where all that well, by the volcano. But now I'm hooked on telling dream stories. And I mean, in the last video I was talking about a vivid dream. Damn you, Violet. I curse the... Wow, I just noticed how dark it is outside and in this room I'm in. Uh... Wanna see my weasel? <laughs> no, Cinder. Nobody wants to see your weasel. Here's... Whoa! Here's the new weapon in this level. They call them portable holes, and I guess that's the right term for it. You know, it's like the same thing done in cartoon shows. You lay down those holes, and anybody can fall in them, you, including yourself. You can fall in your own holes, which suck so badly. See, and like Fleming lights you on fire with his weapon. You might as well just go into the lava, and maybe you'll die before before, so he won't get smack points. It's useful technique. I think. I think it's useful. I could be totally wrong on all this. So, back to my dreams. And, wow, I think I, I think I lit a human on fire. What the fuck? I think I froze somebody. Why did I say lit them on fire? I guess I was looking at- I'm looking at fire, but I have a freeze ray, and I wasn't even paying attention. I do that a lot, which I apologize for. I say something that doesn't make sense as to what's happening or going on. And, you know, if I do that, I, I'm sorry, I apologize in advance. And, you can make fun of me all you want, correct me, but I just corrected myself, so... No need to, but you can do it anyway. Dreams. You know, I lately I've just been having a lot of weird, interesting dreams that I remember in great detail, and I all the dreams I remember, nothing. Well, bad things do happen, but I don't. I'm not scared, or it's not like a nightmare type thing. Ah, shit. Hold on a second. Alright, I had to go change batteries in my controller, because they ran dead. Oh, where was I? Whoa. Apparently I was dying. I was just dying to have a rocket launched at me. Oh, why did I just do that? Some... No, it wasn't my controller. I, I do that sometimes on purpose. I mean, on accident. See how much trouble I have? Whoa, this little area is a bit intense for getting hit. I 
never do very good in that little area, so I tend to avoid it. Yeah, let's let's fly. Wow, I actually hit two people. Whoa! <laughs> I ran right into the weapon. See how all this fire that spurts up here, you can catch on fire there, which is not good at all. You will die a horrible, painful death. Fortunately, it's quick. Kind of. And, whoa. Nice. Hey, Ken Griffey Jr. highlights. One of my favorite baseball players of all time. Maybe my favorite. Possibly. Okay, so, back to my... God damn it. Back to my vivid dreams. I... I, I really want to share this dream because it's pretty interesting. Hey, I, I was in a dream. Ha ha. No, really. My dream picked off, picked up. Not picked off. That's football talk. Picked up. I was in the middle of like a rec center, and there was somebody was going around this rec center, slitting people's throats, and so that's where it kind of picked off. My throat was slit, but just ever so slightly. It was only like, it wasn't really slit, so it was like just cut. So I wasn't, I wasn't bleeding, but it was, it was killing me slowly and slowly enough to where I could, I was holding it with both my hands to keep me from bleeding to death. And I was trying to go around this rec center looking for people to help me. So, so I was still able to talk and everything. And, you know, nobody was willing to help me, those bastards. But, to, okay, to shorten it up a little bit, I found my friend who had a needle and thread. And we went in to watch a movie. But, so we watched the movie. I was still holding my throat. And we watched the whole entire movie, which only seemed to last about... Hey, I won. Which only seemed to last about a minute. Unlocked the portable hole. And then he still had the needle and thread when we walked out. But he didn't help me. And that's where the dream ended. Totally weird, right? Anyway, we're out of time. So stay classy. See you next time.